Hello YouTube! Since November just ended, that also means that NaNoWriMo just ended. Because of this, I've been thinking a lot about the books that actually inspired me to want to write. You know, there was obviously a point at which we realized that writing books was something that people did, and that we could be those people. And so I started writing at a really young age, but I had to think back to what actually inspired me to do that. There were actually a number of books that inspired me in a lot of different ways, and so for this video I want to go through and tell you all of the books that inspired me, and I would love to hear which books did the same for you. I'm also going to be running a giveaway along with this video where five of you will win $100 to spend at Barnes & Noble, so stick around to the end of the video to find out how to do that. So the first book I think that really really inspired me to write, not necessarily to write fiction like I like doing now, but to just buy a notebook and start writing was of course Harriet the Spy. Obviously she used it to spy on the people around her and for a while I kind of got into that. I had a little fanny pack that I put a mirror and a flashlight and a little notebook in. Very quickly those composition notebooks that I bought because I wanted to be just like Harriet the Spy just became places where I wrote down my thoughts and what happened to me that day and what was going on at school and it really really got me on the path of journaling which was really really important to me as a kid. Of course Harry Potter was hugely inspirational to me. It was single-handed what made me start writing fan fiction. I guess I did dabble a tiny tiny bit in anime fan fiction first, but it was Harry Potter that really sealed the deal. Harry Potter was what got me involved in communities for writing and made me really start to interact with people and talk about writing in a larger way than just alone in my bedroom. Fan fiction was the first time that I really started sharing that writing with others. The fact that I posted as many fanfics as I did online in public was actually amazing that I had the courage to do that, and that was all thanks to Harry Potter. Then a little bit later, I think late late middle school, early high school, was when I discovered the Georgia Nicholson books. You know, Angus, Thongs, and Full Frontal Snogging, all of those. And these were the books that really, really made me realize what it meant to have a, a voice as a writer. I just loved the diary feel of these books. I loved all of the crazy British slang that I learned because of these books. And Georgia Nicholson, in these stories, had such a distinct voice that it was what made me start trying to develop my own voice as a writer. And even though mine really emulated the Georgia Nicholson books for a long time, you know, after a while, it started to become my own. It started to feel unique. And obviously it's something I'm still working on, but I really, really owe it to those books for making me even think about it in the first place. I think the last one I have to really give credit to are John Green's books, specifically Looking for Alaska. They didn't necessarily get me into writing per se, but there had been a very long dry spell uh, for me, for reading, until I read Looking for Alaska. It was really that book that got me back on the train of reading. And that was also the very first year that I did my first NaNoWriMo, and so all of it was sort of interconnected, and when I think back to that time, when I think back to the very first time I sat down and said, I'm gonna try to write a novel in a month, I sort of feel like it was Looking for Alaska that sort of got me into that mindset where I could do that. And honestly, I think is the case for most people, my love of reading and my love of writing are really, really parallel, and my writing only gets better the more I read. So even though there's tons more books that I could talk about, those are probably the top four that really had a huge impact on me, and I would love so much to hear what yours were. But instead of telling me down in the comments, here's the catch. I would love to go talk about this on this new app called Yappum. I know, uh, downloading another app, it's so hard. But this one's pretty cool. It's the social app where people can share their experiences with different brands in exchange for rewards that you can use to then cash in for prizes. And I wanted to make it worth it for you guys, so if you go sign up for this app and complete my mission, which is just talking about which books inspired you to write or to do other things in your life if you're not a writer, you will be automatically entered to win one of five $100 gift cards to Barnes & Noble. So all you gotta do is download a cool app, talk about books, and you could potentially win free money to get more books. It's like a really win-win situation. You can join Yapum at the link below. I'm gonna put a link to where you can find my mission, or if you just go on Google Play or the App Store on your iPhone, you can download it and you can just search for my mission. You'll understand once you see the app. And I hope you are gearing up for the holidays, recovering from all of that writing time, and just overall having a great day. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.